good day everyone i hope y'all are doing well having yourselves a good weekend if you're watching this on the day of which would be let's see august 30th one day closer to the end of summer and i am ready for the end of summer i'm telling you now in florida it has been cooking it's ridiculous i i am ready for some cooler weather so what do we need to get done today we have a slew of harvesting that we need to get done and we also the first thing we need to do is we need to take care of a little fertilization here let's uh, get up here pull this guy there we go nice spot right here so let's pull up the map let's take a quick look we've got well, let's uh scroll on over there we go six seven and eight those are our grass fields we've got those harvested but they need uh, the second fertilization state and then field number two which was our clover field and or is our clover field we had a massive what three million liter harvest of clover hay on that bad boy the last uh, stone valley episode so it needs a the second fertilization state and i want to get it done right now or soon because i do not want to wait if i do i forget about it and then i run out of time and i do not get to fertilize it so i think the first thing we need to do is that and then we have i don't know why i got rid of the map we have 3 29 and 30 oh and 33 <laughs> and 33 that they all need harvested they're ready to go now we do not have any headers for sunflowers or corn so we're gonna have to get a couple of headers and with that they're all the only decent ones i have are john deere so if I've got John Deere, I think we need to rent ourselves some John Deere headers. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to have two harvesters doing each crop. So we're going to have two harvesters doing corn, two harvesters rocking on the sunflowers. And our job is going to be to keep them working. We will be the boy. That's our job is to keep the workers working. So we're going to be running carts. We're going to be maybe doing some headlands see if we can keep them rocking and rolling and see how much product we can get out of the field so first thing let's run over here let's grab our Centrac and let's see about getting our butt out there and getting our fertilizing finished up that's what i'm thinking that way we get it done then we don't have to worry about that and then we can go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of equipment all righty let's get this thing done and it should not be bad at all this thing is a 50 meter the sulky it does a tremendous job there we go and should make really quite short work out of this guy let's back up a little bit so we can kind of see can we get this whole oh wow we can very nice and we should be able to just do it all in one i'm not going to do each individual field as an individual field we'll just treat everything as one field and that should uh that should do us very very well so all right let's uh let's put our nose to the grindstone here see if we can get a rhythm rocking and uh, get the day started
Man, with this spreader, it just makes such quick work out of this whole thing. What we did, I think it was five passes all the way across, and that got the whole dang field done. Very, very nice. Now we are running just a tad bit low on fertilizer, but I think I have a bag of fertilizer up here that we had taken out of a planter that we used when we returned it. So let's zip up here and see if we can grab a little bit of that. I think just that bag should do it for us. I think we can shoot the gap here. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay. Let's see if we can get over here. And going up. Oh yeah, we're gonna be just fine. That should give us plenty. So what do I need to do? Let's head over to our clover field. We'll get that banged out as well. And then let the fun begin. I am excited. I am super excited to get on this harvest. I just think it's going to be a lot of fun trying to get everybody rocking and rolling at the same time. And then just try to keep up with everything as uh, the harvesters fill up. We, sh we should be running hard. We should be working our tails off as the boys should always be doing. My girlfriend gets very mad at me when I call people the boy, but that's just the job title. It's not an insult. You're the boy. Your job is to keep the worker busy working. You don't let them stop. She hasn't quite figured that out, but she will. She'll get there. All right, let's, let's get this thing done. I don't think I'm going to do another speedy. I think one is enough of fertilization. I think everybody's got their fill of that. So I'm just going to kick back and get this thing knocked out. Shouldn't take me long at all. And then we will move on. And there we go. Another job done, done, done. So now let's get this guy back to the farm. I do not think we are going to be needing the Sintrack for anything uh, too soon. That's for sure. Now, what I would like to do, we'll swing by the pigs. I noticed that they were quite dirty. So we're here. We'll go ahead. We'll clean them up real quick. Drop off the Centrac. And then we need to do a little bit of shopping. Now, we're not really buying anything. We are just going to be leasing today. Yeah, well, they're not too bad, are they? Not too bad at all. We're here. We might as well clean them up. There you go, piggy pigs. A little more food, a little more of this, a little more of that. Let's go ahead, and while we're here, let's check on the critters. Uh, seem to be doing good. A little low on straw, but not too bad. Still over halfway. Uh, cows, 315 cows. We are rocking those guys. Ooh, every four hours. Sweet. Now, the sheep, we just really do not have that many sheep. I think we can have like 400 sheep or something. But anyway, they're they're doing okay. It looks like if we get over there, we should probably do a little cleaning on the cows and the sheep. But they're not. Uh, I mean, they're still at productivity is at 98 percent, 97 for them. So, yeah, we'll need to get over there and get that taken care of. But we can handle that. We'll get there at some point in time. Right now, let's get over there and let's get this thing dropped off. All righty, drop that guy off. I always like to pull him right up here just so I can kind of see him. <laughs> so I don't lose him. All right, so now let's get to the store. Now, I've already done a little bit of uh, browsing here on what we need. So what I'm thinking is I have a specific harvester in mind. And was it this far? It was it. No, it wasn't that far. Where was it? Where was it? I believe it was this guy right here. The S780 through the 790 series. So let's go in here. Now uh, we have the extensions. So we can have 45. We can do 75,000, but it does not have the same hor horsepower as our case does. Both of those have like 800 horsepower. This one's sitting at 625, so I don't think we should do 
75,000 liters. I think it'll have a tough time uh, keeping up with it. So let's drop it down. Let's do 65. Okay, so we need 65 uh, wheel brand. We might as well just... We got Michelin, Midas. What is a uh, transport? Oh, I don't really want tracks. You know, I guess we could do one of them with tracks, couldn't we? Let's do that. Let's do one with tracks. And I, I like the yellow tracks. Uh, chopper, tailboards. Uh, what is that? I don't really care. I guess I'll go for the cheapest ones on that. Rear hitch, we do not need. Pipe. Let's let's go with the bigger pipe just in case. I don't think our header's going to be that big, so we would probably be all right. Rear axis. I don't even know what. The, oh, you can make it wider. I don't know if I like wider. It looks a little weird. Because a wider is better. It used to be a Pontiac commercial a million years ago. Uh, I think we're just going to leave it as standard. Now the engine, let's upgrade it to 625. All right, so let's lease that. Yes, now let's go up. And I want, I just want wheels. That's what I want. Go back to, oh, no, I don't want tandems. Just regular, there we go. That's what I was looking for. And... I don't know. Boy, there's really not much difference. Those are a little a little girthier. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> girthier. I'm not sure if that is or not. Either way, let's uh, let's take this one as well. Everything else looks good. Let's lease it. Now, I need... Shoot, I need four of these. Ooh, okay. So, we're going to... Uh, no, I did not want to do that. Son of a gun. I just bought one. I didn't want to buy one. Okay, we'll have to sell that. So if I have two of them with out tracks, then let's wait. Let's go tracks for the second one as well. So we have two. Hello. There we go. Right there. I think that's it. So let's lease that as well. We need headers. Corn headers. So let's go down here. It was towards the end, I remember seeing. And let's see. Does corn and sunflowers, which is perfect, does 21 mile an hour. Now it is only 12.3 meters, but I think that's fine. We make up for it with a little bit of speed that we get. And I don't want to do 31 miles an hour. That is too fast. The machines just can't keep up. So we need... Uh, main color. I like the main color to be yellow. I think it just makes it pop. Yes, one. Okay, and then we'll lease. There's two. Uh-oh, I don't have enough money. I do have enough money. Yes. Oh, I have to move stuff. Okay, so I guess we'll have to do that. Let's see here. Uh, reset. Yes. Okay. Reset. Yes. Okay. Man, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay. And reset. Yes. So what did I need? I needed two more headers or three more headers. I think I needed three. Didn't I? I only got one. Wasn't it that one? That is the one. So let's go ahead and do that yellow. Lease, yes, okay, and then lease, yes, okay. Now what, one more, right? I hope so. Okay, so we should be sitting here and we are poor. <laughs> because I did not want to buy that harvester. Now, that guy looks... A little crooked. What is up with that thing? It looks a, does not not look a little bit askew. The whole cab is sitting all cattywampus. Tires looking half flat. Yes. Okay. Anyway, 
It is what it is. Okay, now. Oh, now I don't have enough room there. Okay, well there we go. We're we're looking good now. Looking real good. Heh heh heh. Get this guy hooked up. So I can kind of see, 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 senor. There we go. That guy's ready. Now what? We got two more headers. Let's grab these. Yes, I really, really want to reset them. Yes, I do. Okay. And we are ready. Let's get these things hooked up. Alrighty, there we go. Now, I did line them all up here. I was trying to find a, get a good thumbnail. Usually what happens is I get all done making the video and then I realize, well, you fool, you didn't make a thumbnail. So then I got to go back and try to recreate. It takes me another 45 minutes to get that done. So I tried to head it off at the pass this time, but we shall see. Okay, so where are we going to go? What do we got? We got the track guy. That guy is in front. I'm saying let's, uh, let's put him... I think here in what, field three? Yeah, let's get them rocking in field three. And we will get both of the tracks rocking field three. And then both of the tires will be uh, rocking over here. Where are we at? In 29. Let's get those, the, the big guys out of the way. First thing, that should, that should keep us busy for a little bit. That's uh, no problem with that. All right, let's get this thing started. Let's see if we can fit through this. This is always a tight fit, but the good news is, is we're not, oh, come on. We're not even 13 meters this time. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? Smack the barn, I suppose. So get over here. Oh, we probably need, let's pull up a menu. And we need unfold header, oh, sign. You know, I really like it when signs get knocked over. Some of the signs on this map do, and some of the signs do not. But what are you going to do? I think, right over to here, we need to unfold the harvester itself. There it goes. I love all the animations. They do such a good job with these. They really do. Let's drop this thing down. And I think if I just let the worker go from there. Now, again, we will have some cleanup to do, but that's okay. We don't mind that at all. We just know that. We're in tires here. So this is going to go over uh, to field. I believe it is 29. Let's see if we can get out of here without smack it. Oh, barely. Just barely rub that thing. We'll get there one of these days. I've zipped through there before, but and that was with a bigger header, so I do not know. Nope, don't hit the sign. Okay, so why not? Oh, we got to do all the unfoldy, foldy stuff, don't we? So unfold header, unfold harvester. Oh, good. It didn't hit the sign. Wait, I did unfold it, right? Or did I not unfold? It's all unfolded. Well, now it works. Oh, well, whatever. Not for me to question why. So let's get this guy rocking. Then I'm going to run over. We'll grab the others and see if we can get them going as well. Are we straight? Beautiful. All right, I'll see you in just a second. So let's go ahead. Let's just run a quick headland across this end here. And then we can start the worker on this side. I'm not sure if there's a little jetty over there that kind of sticks into the field just enough to uh, throw things off a little bit. And I'm not sure it might, uh, it might get in the way of this guy. It might screw him up, but we'll give it a shot. Now I did want to let you know, I did go ahead and I returned the harvester that I bought and went ahead and just leased one. 
and then I kind of reimbursed myself for the amount of money that it cost me. I probably should have just ate it. It was my mistake. I probably should have, but I guess it's too late now. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to let this guy go, and hopefully he will figure it out. Or she, they. We'll use they. They will figure it out. So what I want to do is... What are you? Oh, yeah, right. Okay. So we don't want that. We want this guy. So let's go over there, go to the uh, cornfield, field number three, and let's see about running a headland or two across there. We should have time to get that done. Can I? Oh, look at that. Didn't even scrape it. Nothing. I knew if I kept trying it eventually, we'd get there. But I want to go ahead and run this headland, try to get that taken care of before they get full. Lower that. Let's turn that bad boy on. No, 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 no. I'm missing nothing. I am not going to miss any there. I'm corn found it. Get corn found it. Ha! Huh, get it? That was punny. <laughs> okay, maybe it was only funny to me. <laughs> uh, but that's all right. You got to make yourself laugh. That's the way it goes. You ain't laughing. Then you're doing something wrong. That's what I say. I say a lot of crap that doesn't really matter anyway. <laughs> no, well, he can't have already a full grain of tank. I, I haven't got any headlands ran. They can't do that to me yet. Oh, we are going to be busy. I need a trailer that holds more. I got a 70,000 liter semi trailer. But these things hold 65,000 liters each. That That's not going to do it, folks. We're going to have to come up with something different. I do not think that I can keep up with four harvesters filling up this quick. So I say first thing we do, let's just go ahead. Let's just run ourselves ahead and get this field squared away. And then we will just keep up as we can. I think we will get another trailer. I think I have the perfect one. It holds about 225,000 liters. But uh, it does, it definitely it registers how much it carries. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to fill it all the way up, but we should be able to at least get a couple fills out of it. So let's just, uh, let's just get our headlands ran, see if we can get it set up for the workers to take it from there.
And there we go. Headlands are done, at least on one field. Come on, stop, baby. And they start getting full. They are a bear. So, okay. Now, he's not going to go very long. I've already got, I think, two of them stopped. And this guy's at 96%. So, okay, let's get up here. And trailer, 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 trailer. Uh, I wanted, I think it's crampy is what it was. Come on, baby. Where you at? Dun, dun, there we go. Is that it? Oh, wait. I think it was the big body 900S. 225,000 liters. That is it. So let's go. Well, let's see here. Can we do, I mean, everything else is John Deere, isn't it? That's claws, deuce far, John Deere. There we go. Rim color. Uh, I don't even know. It doesn't say. Oh, it just it just shows. So I'm going to call this Onyx and design color. Do we have a John Deere yellow? John Deere. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll take that. Capacity. Oh, we don't like that. I think it does the same no matter what. How about wheels? I think trailer board. Ooh, big fatties. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's lease two of these. Okay, so lease, 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 lease. Yes, I do like lease. Now we need to get on the ball because we are sitting here, I think, with everybody. <laughs> everybody is full. Everybody's waiting on the boy, and the boy is failing miserably. My job is supposed to be to keep them working. I am not doing very good. Hey, get in there. There we go. Okay, so let's find us. Let's grab one of these. I think this is a good one. Let's go. There you go. He's a little slow taking off, but we'll get it. So I got this one, and then we have the claws. The I think it's the Terra Tracker. Oh, oh, nice. Real nice. This is looking like a John Deere harvest to me, except we're going to have one piece of claws equipment in there. It's going to just screw it all up. I think I think we're gonna stick over here. We've been hanging in the cornfield. I guess that's where I'm gonna stay. Hopefully we're gonna have enough time that we can get things unloaded and loaded back up. Keep everybody moving. I just want to get everybody rocking and rolling here. I should have maybe got my ducks in a row a little bit better. Okay, let's fire that guy, or lay him off. We're not going to really fire him, just lay him off a little bit. Now, I do not know how fast these things unload. The case unloaded really fast, within seconds. Get in the trailer, man. There it is. Stop it. There we go. Uh, this is going to take a little... Stop. Just stop. Okay, just stay. Good job. Okay, while they are unloading, let's go ahead and what do we need? This guy right here. Let's grab the other trailer and get over to our sunflowers and see if we can get that guy rocking. There we go. Now this one's going, so we should be able to jump back to there. Oh, yeah, and they are down to, what, 20, what, 28%? Oh, that's the trailer. <laughs> they are perfect, perfect time back up get this guy moving I think we'll get in there we are getting there it's just a little bit of run 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 that is the way it goes that's what the start is all about running around crazy trying to get everything the way you want it to be just about the time you get it there oh my goodness that was very very loud just about the time you get it there and you're running smooth, then you're done. Whoa. Okay. All right. Let, we're going to head over here and see if we can catch the other worker there and get them motoring as well. Well, as of right now, well, as soon as this uh, harvester is emptied, we are caught up. Now, I did notice the John Deere when I went to pull it away. After it finished unloading the second harvester there, it was it was struggling. It was not moving very fast at all. 
which leads me to believe they need emptied after I've emptied each harvester once. Come on, come on, get drained out of there. I do wish this emptied just a wee bit quicker. I mean, I can't really complain, I suppose, but, well, I guess I can. I shouldn't. That's the key word. I should not complain. Come on, what are it, 65? So it should be at 30, right? There it is. All right, let's see if we can outrun the harvester. Barely. <laughs> just barely. Well, I think the harvester probably has more horsepower. So let's get this one emptied out, get it ready to go for the second time. I think it is definitely gonna uh, be a lot of work just to try to keep up with these guys. The good news is, is we're only going right over here to our farm to drop it in our silo. I'd gotten this guy out thinking that I was gonna use it, but I there's no way I could keep up with that. Whoa, there you go. Brakes are good on this guy. Man, goodness. Way better than the harvester. Dump it out. Dump it out. Okay, so I'm going to empty this, drop it off of the field. Then I'm going to run and grab the John Deere tractor and get that one emptied out. And then we're going to start this cycle all over again. Well, we almost made it. Harvester one, we'll call it. The first one we went to in the cornfield there is already full. Hopefully, we will have a little bit of time. I think as we progress, we'll be able to catch up and then maybe keep up. I'm hoping, anyway. Maybe 21 mile an hour was a little too much, huh? <laughs> Come on, there you go. It takes a little work to uh, get used to backing up the trailers using the tracked vehicles. They turn so quick that it uh, is definitely a little adjustment needs to be done when you're backing up, for sure. Now, I gotta say, these trailers unload, like, right now. I am, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. There we go. Let's get over there, and uh, we're gonna, like I said, get, get these emptied up. We'll do one more round. That should hopefully catch us up. Let's see if we can keep up with this guy and actually start getting him unloaded. Oh yeah, this guy does really good. The John Deere would be struggling for sure. The John Deere would be struggling right here, but we are not. So we are just gonna cruise along with this guy, get him emptied up, and I guess that's it. Okay, you're on your own now, feller. Well, I say Kloss and John Deere go very well together. And look at that. He was not even that full. Come on, stay on task, man. Stay straight. Eesh. You know it's not the uh, helper doing that. It's the boy <laughs> driving all over the place. I think he's been hitting the bottle as he's been waiting. He hasn't been waiting much today. Oh yeah, so we should have him doing good just by the end. And then I think I need to go over to the cornfield and reset uh, worker number two. They had finished that little, uh, little leg there that's on that. All righty, let's pull that in. Now, how do I want to do this? I think I think if we just take this guy and turn him right here. Ooh, back up, baby. My goodness, brakes don't even work that good when it's empty. Drop it down. Wow, $2,500 in wage payments. That's substantial. That looks pretty good. I think he's going to be doing all right there. How is, oh, look at those two. That's a nice sight. That looks nice. See, that could be my thumb right there. Look at that, very nice. That's kind of pretty when you look at it that way and it just kind of ended up where they're both working that way. And sit here and watch this all day. Uh, everybody else might get a little bored. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Okay, so I was, oh, I was uh, 
checking on the other corn harvester. And, okay, so that's that one. Where are we? Oh, I need to empty that. My goodness, too much stuff. There it is. Oh, it's almost full. Okay, so I need to go grab the trailer, get it dumped out, because this guy's going to be full. He's been doing these long runs. He fills up quick. So I'm going to go empty that, and then we'll come back here and uh, empty this guy as well. Let's dump it out. Now, I knew we were going to be running. <clears throat> wow, puberty must be kicking in. I knew we were going to be running, uh, running ourselves ragged here, which is okay. Let's see how much how much product do we got? Corn is rocking. Now we were going to be stopping at what eight hundred and twenty five. You know, I think we're actually going to get it filled up. I I did not truly. I did not think that we were going to be able to get them all filled up. But we've had a really good harvest so far. Now, I ran into a little issue uh, over at the Sunflower Field. They have collided. But I see we've got one guy full all the way over here. What is that guy doing? Why, why, is, why is that guy going there? Well, I do not know, but let's go get this one emptied. And either way, if I get this guy emptied up, he's probably going to finish this field anyway, which might work out for the best. Well, they seem to be, uh, who did I just, having their own issues. Pardon me, pardon me. Well, since they're doing that, let's drop this guy down. Take this opportunity. Oh, there we go. There we go. Don't be missing nothing. Let's see if we can clean this up a little bit. And then we need to get him on the next field, I think. Which one is it? We'll have to look at the map. I can't remember. What is the next sunflower field? Looks like... Okay, so we got a little strip right up here. Should not be bad at all. I don't know how that got missed. But it did. I, it's not for me to question why. Get it, get it, get it, get it. There we go. There we go. I tell you, I am thrilled to death at how this is going. There has been really, as far as my stuff goes, I always have issues. And we've had none. Everything has worked well. Knock on wood. <laughs> Everything has gone well. I'm waiting for the bottom to fall out, you know? It's how it always works. Something start glitching and headers start flying or something. Who knows? Just keep my fingers crossed that everything goes according to plan. So, all right. I'm going to clean this up right here. And it looks like the field we're doing. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. It's right here. Number 33. We do not have far to go at all. I might go ahead and just go right from uh, the bottom of 29 here, jump over, run a quick headland across the, the bottom and the top of 33, and we should be sitting good. Very nice. I think that is a plan. Let's sit there. Let's do that. Let's, uh, now I don't want to start here. Let's raise that up. I do not want to start there. But we can run a quick headland around here. Now, see, when I do a speedy, I always prefer to do, wonder what was here. There seems to be stuff that should be here that isn't, doesn't it? Oh, well, because probably when they revised it to a 2X instead of a 4X. But anyway, I always try to do the headlands. I always figure the headlands are more interesting than going straight up and down the rows. So that's why generally when I do uh, speedies, that's what I like to do. Try to do the more interesting stuff than just the straight up and downs. And there it is. Oh, hey, we got a little bit of cleanup right here, don't we? I don't know how I missed that. But I most certainly did. Now, the only reason I ran a headland between that field and that field is because I don't trust the workers at all. I have had them jump fields so many times, I can't even count. 
and I would hate to empty them right before they turned around and then they didn't turn around and they just jumped fields. And I'm sure that that would happen. Just because they, they like to do things like that. It's to keep me on my toes. And we've had a pretty good day and I don't want to see it get all screwed up. So I'm going to finish cleaning this up. And then I think I saw that one worker was done. One worker has a full tank. So we're going to have to very shortly set up for the second set of fields. Get them uh, rocking and rolling. Let's get this guy rocking on here. And at least one of them will be moving. Uh, hey, I think I raised my header. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, no, I didn't. So why did it not? Uh, it's peculiar. Anywho. There you go. That uh, good. Now let's go check on our corn. Okay. I guess. Now where is... Where's the other guy? Oh, other guy's way over there. Okay. So if I... Oh, huh, wrong vehicle. I thought I was in my harvester. I'm waiting for it to move. <laughs> it wasn't going anywhere. Come on. Now, I should be able... I'll just get this guy going, and he'll finish up this. Come on. They do not back up very fast at all, which is probably good. I would think the field of view backing up in one of these would be horrible. You would almost, well, nowadays you could have a camera out there. There you go. All right, get her done, man. Get her done. Dang, that is so loud. I was thinking since we were so close over here and just about out of the way from over here, we should come over here and go ahead and see about getting these guys cleaned up. Where, oh, where is my broom? That is the biggie. Must be over here at the sheep. Hi there, Bessie. Now, we do not have a lot. Oh, I saw, I, <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? I, saw, I was flying when I was taking my thumbnail. So we don't need to be flying anymore. There we go. That makes things a little easier. I don't know how I didn't notice that before blind is bad I guess oh well we are close well we got a little ways to go before we're we can sell any there we go let's get up here let's get these guys all taken care of it makes for some happy moo moos why they care that this out here is dirty I do not know but for whatever reason they do how's the manure coming over here well we got quite a bit don't we what do we have for manure? I'm getting a little sidetracked. I know, I know. But uh, the cows, well, they got more slurry than manure. And same thing, or I mean the pigs, sorry. I do know the difference. I do. Just deciding which is which, I guess. And we got a lot of slurry we need to sell. Woof. That is for another day, I think. Well, this is the last of field three right here. Now, I haven't actually went around. Oh, nice. I was busy looking around, seeing if I saw anything that was missed. Nice. Let's see. Did we miss anything? Uh, let's go over here. And uh Oh, it looks like maybe we did miss a little strip right over here. We'll get that on the way out. But everything else looks pretty clean, looks pretty good. So let's, let's, uh, are we done? Oh, all right. And now we are done. So I am going to go ahead and take this guy and head over to, what is that? Field 32, I think it is. Now I got to look. I got to see if I'm right. No, field, field 30. Corn found it. I'll get him. I'll get him down. No, probably not, but I'll try. I'm just going to run uh, one headland across the top of this guy. I think that should do it. Since we've got a headland on the other field, I think just 
one across the top should be ample we may have to do a little touch up but let's hope that we don't i mean if that's the worst thing to happen to us in a day well that's a pretty darn good day i have to say and the worker is off and running oh they're full okay so let's get this guy over here. but we need to jump up here and i can see i don't know if you can see that or not barely at the top there it's just a little bit that they didn't get. So we're going to swing up here, grab that, and then head back over to field 30. Come on there, baby. There it is. My poor semi-truck sitting there all neglected, probably feeling lonely. It didn't get to take part at all. There we go. So where, oh where, on the old scale are we? We are at, well, there's 700. Oh, I don't think we're going to get there, but uh, we should be really close. So anything over 825,000. So we're just a skosh or about uh, 23,000 liters short of 800,000. So we are right at about 50,000 liters shy of meeting our goal. And I don't think we're going to have any problems at all of reaching that goal. So let's, uh, we need to, let's, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, we need to get over and we need to get the, uh, sunflowers emptied out because I think both of them are probably sitting there with their thumb up their bum waiting on us. And we do not like that. So now here's the big question. I was a little full. I didn't want to go over and, and try to empty them out. I'd never get here. How are we doing for sunflowers? I have not even looked yet. And sunflowers, well, we are a little bit behind corn. I'm not quite as confident that we are going to get sunflowers filled up with this harvest as I am with the corn. We should be close. And let's see. All right. You straight. You good. Beautiful. Okay. So now I got to jump over. I tell you, this is definitely running around like a chicken with your head cut off trying to keep up with these guys. We're still good. All right. So we need to go over and empty some more uh, corn harvesters now. And this, with this load, we should be where we want to be. I think we'll check before we dump, but I think we need just about 50,000 liters of this trailer and then our silos are full. Now, I know our silo says it's 900 and some, but that being, come on, back up there, Junior. Let's go, let's go. There we go. So before we dump, let's take a quick look here. And corn is at 797, and we want 825,000. I cannot remember where the extra 100,000 liters came from. So let's do about 50,000 liters, which would put us at about, what, 70,000. Okay, so let's dump. When we get to about 70,000, 75, whoa. Oh, hey, wait. Well, that, oh, that's all it lets us. Sweet. We're there. We're good. So now, now we can sell 100,000 liters. Of, oh, wait. Let's check the animals first. Uh, I guess the cow or the pigs want some. Do the cows want? Oh, good. The cows do not take any. So, all right, let's go drop some of this off. That's okay. I think we're still going to make some money here. And it is all about making money. That is why we play the game. Let's go see how much they're going to take. They shouldn't take that much, should they? Be nice to us, pigs. Be good. And there it goes. It's dropping fast. Okay, I guess they're hungrier than I thought. So we got about 46,000 left. Okay, let's make a few bucks. Very nice. What did we get? $56,000 off of that? Oh, yeah. This is going to be a very, very good day. 
So let's get over there and empty whoever the heck needs emptied. Well, evidently, I am not doing my job very well. Oh, wait, okay, I look up here and I saw the two on the right-hand side look, and they were just stopped. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Everybody is full? Wait, no, no, they're not all full. This guy going by, he is close to being full. That guy up there on the right, he just got emptied. That's, I, I'd forgot. And so we only had a couple of them that are full. But this guy needs, I need to empty this trailer before I go do anything else. Now helper D is full. So, whoo, we are running and running hard today. There is no rest for the wicked, that is for sure. Well, maybe we'll just go ahead and... There we go. Maybe if we empty this guy out, maybe he can finish this uh, sunflower field and not have to be emptied again. Because I have to, I have to admit, I am just about tired of carting. I've been doing it. I've been doing this for a while. Come on now. Go on. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Empty out. You're empty. Move it. What are you doing? You got nothing left. Why are you stopped? Okay. So let's drive. Let's empty this. Then maybe we'll check and see where we sit. Oh, look at that. They did miss a little bit. Corn found it. Alrighty. Where are we at? How are we sitting with sunflowers? Are we going to be close? Well, we're not going to be bad. I think we should get at least... Maybe another hundred thousand. So we're going to be, we're not going to be too far off, but we are not going to be there either. I was really hoping that we would get it, but we're going to need one more field of sunflowers to top them all off. And this is going to be the last little strip of corn right here. Sweet. Not sweet corn. Well, it could be sweet corn. I guess it doesn't really specify, does it? And there we go. One harvester is emptied. And break, 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 break. Woo! I'm on there. There, let's get up to the front. Let's even this out a little bit. There it is. So how much are we going to end up in this trailer? So we're at 142. Oh, that means we're going to make well over 150, what, $170,000 is what we're going to make. Something like that. That is awesome. We can use it. Maybe we'll use it to buy another dang field. Why not? I don't think we need it. We've got harvesters. We don't need that. We don't really need another tractor. I mean, this John Deere, I could get a different tractor. I don't really care for the John Deere one, the track. It's just... Uh, I don't know. It doesn't go very fast. It's it just doesn't pull very well. Don't hate me, John Deere fans. I can't help it. Come on, get on out of there. Oh, this is this is the painfulness. Come on. Now the claws just pulls it like right now. This one <laughs> doesn't pull it like right now. Come on, baby, you can do it. You just want to get out, and start pushing. All right, we're getting some momentum now. Let's get over here and see how much cash we make. I think that, you know, I think I'm just going to pull it over here and we're going to wait. We're going to wait till we get everything harvested. And then we're, we're going to see what the totals are. And then we'll see how much cash we actually get out of this guy. And just like that, this is the end of the sunflower harvest as well. Sweet. When that guy there empties out, we can return these guys and they are done. But we can see him over there touching, barely see him in the distance. Just a couple of green specks. <laughs> so I, like I said, I don't think we're gonna make a huge amount of uh, money but we are going to make some money and our sunflowers are going to be close. Our corn is done. Okay, so there's that. We do not need eh, lease, lease, lease. There we go. 
And I think it's time to return. Yes, indeed. Uh, we can't do the trailers yet, but we can do the headers. All right, there we are. Now, I th nope, we can't do either. Okay. Budafamus. Now, let's get this guy over there. What We got about 131,000 liters in here. Now, you see how well this takes off? That's what I'm missing from the John Deere right there, is that it just goes. I understand it's heavy. I do. But it should be going. That's what it's for. It's the big boy. I think it's the 9RT, is it? Or is it the... It might only be the 8RT. What is it? Now, I'm curious. Garage owned. Yeah, it's the 8RT. But I mean, it's pushing 750 horsepower. It should not have a problem pulling any of these trailers, no matter how much you put in them. But it does. Dumping, dumping fast, moving on, and we are looking at oh, we're over the 700. Sweet. How close are we going to be? Oh, my, really? 25,000 liters shy of our goal. Ugh. That hurts. That hurts really, really bad. But either way, we are so close. We have almost checked off two more. We've got barley is done. Wheat is done. Uh, corn is now done. Sunflower is so close. Uh, sugar beets, we're good there. We're not doing any potatoes. Grass, hay, straw, alfalfa hay. Wait, no, it was clover hay is done. And clover is done. We are really, really close. You know, I, we are almost close enough. I think... I think the only ones I really care about anymore are going to be oats, canola, and soybeans. I think everything else, I don't care. We'll get the sunflowers up as well, but uh, we've got a little work with the oats and the canola and the soybeans. We better have some massive harvest for those. Now, let's get over here and see how much money we make. Okay, let's... Do it. We're at 176,000, and that money is soaring up. My good. I try to turn it so it's in a darker green area, and you can kind of see it a little bit better. We're over five hundred thousand dollars. Woo! Two hundred and sixteen grand. Hot diggity! That will help out the golfers for sure. All right, now let's get in here and let's go back to the garage and let's get rid of this guy right here. Okay, get rid of that guy right there. And we are good. I think it was a stellar day, without a doubt. We did good. We, uh, we definitely got a lot of harvesting done. We made ourselves some cash. We had a little fun. It was good. I hope you all enjoyed for sure. Now, I am thinking about maybe uh, doing uh, an Ischia Farms. I've been there before, and I got into it a little bit. We didn't stay there very long, but they've just recently did an update, and I am itching to go back there. I'd like to do some grapes, and they added a couple of other crops. So we might throw Ischia Farms into the rotation. If that's something you'd like to see, let me know, but I am seriously thinking about doing that. With that being said, hey, thanks, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the subs. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, be good, everyone. And until next time, see ya.